Are you looking for a free bed crusher effect? If yes, I've got the perfect solution for you. Hi friend, welcome to Produce with Cross V. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about a bed crusher effect, which is free for a short time. This plugin is called My Crush by Denise Audio. So in order to get My Crush for free, you'll have to go over to Denise's website. I'll leave the links in the description so that you can get it for yourself. And once you're on the website, you will have to create an account and then you'll have to click on your profile and go over to notifications. And once you click on notifications, you just have to make sure that you enable the newsletter by checking on this box. And once that is done, you can go over to the link that I've left in the description. And once you're on this page, you can just scroll down and click on add to bag. And now, like you can see, there's an automatic discount applied to your VST and you can get it for free. Just click on checkout. And now you will have to fill in your name and an address and click on place order. So I'll just pause the video and go ahead and do that. And once that is done, you will get this message saying your order is successful and you can download the plugin from the library. So I'll just click on library. And now I have the plugin added to my library. I can download it for either a Windows system or a Mac and I can get my serial number from the option above. Now, once you have installed my crush, this is what the interface would look like. And from here, all you have to do is paste in the serial number that you got from Denise's website and click on redeem license key. So I'll pause the video and go ahead and do that. Now, let me go ahead and show you how you can use this plugin. So let us first go over the main controls of this plugin. The first two controls over here are the in and the out signal. And you can basically see how loud your input signal and your output signal is and ensure that it is not clipping. So I just have a few simple chords drawn in. I will just turn down the mix to 0% so that we can see how it sounds like without the plugin. And later I will turn the mix all the way up to 100 so that you can see what it sounds like with the plugin on. Just something simple. So now let us turn the mix all the way up and here's what the signal sounds like with the default settings. Okay. So there's not much of a difference and that is because we haven't changed any of our settings over here. So let us quickly go over what these four settings at the top are. The settings to the left are high pass filters and low pass filters. And these options can be used to filter out what frequencies are being processed by this plugin. So if you filter out 20 Hertz, what that is essentially doing is that it is not letting any of the frequencies under 20 Hertz enter this plugin. The same will go for the low pass filter. So any frequencies above 20 kilohertz will not be processed by this plugin. The high pass filter and the low pass filter towards the right are post processing filters, which means that these frequencies will be processed only once the signal is entirely processed by my crush. So the final output that you get from my crush will not have any frequencies under 20 Hertz in it. And it will not have any frequencies above 20 kilohertz as well. We already covered the mix knob and this will basically decide how much of this crushed signal is added to your final output. The two main important options that we have over here are resample and reduce. The resample option will reduce the sample rate of the signal that it is applied to. So let me demonstrate this for you. So 
So now my crush has added in a lot of artifacts to that sound. The next option that we have over here is reduce and this option will reduce the bitrate of the signal it is applied to. So I will just play the signal again and let us see this in action. Okay, you can also control the loudness of your input signal and your output signal with the help of these two options. The next option that we have over here is a drop down menu which will decide how to shape your bed crusher. Right now it is flat and that is what our screen is showing. But if I change it to let us say smile, this is how the bed crusher will be shaped. So now let's play this and let us see what it has done to our signal. Our last option is the stutter effect and like the name suggests, you can add a glitch effect to your entire sound with the help of this option. So if I enable stutter and now if I play the signal, you will hear a glitch. Apart from all that, we also have a bunch of presets for this plugin and we will quickly cycle through all of these by clicking on these arrows. So this is our first preset. Let me just quickly demonstrate this for you. Let's move on to the next. Kinda extreme. Alright, so that was my crush by Denise Audio. They are offering it for free for a limited time. If you found the tutorial helpful, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.